welcome back everyone. In today's tutorial we are going to put this cabin into a layout tab and then we're going to viewport freeze the layers that we don't want to see. Okay, and this is the typical method for most drawings. Um, what you do is you have all of your layers on or most of your layers on in model space and then in each different layout tab you freeze the layers that you want in the viewport. Okay, so let's get started so I can show you an example of that. Okay, so here we are in model space, and it looks like I have most of my layers on, but I'm just going to check my layer pull down to make sure I do have all of them on. All right, and as I look here, okay, I'm going to unfreeze the wiring and wiring dashed layers, and I'll take a look up here, and yep, it looks like everything is on, and the, I have all suns, so everything is thawed. Okay, so now that I have all my layers on, I'm going to go to my Layout 1 tab. And um, when I come into my Layout 1 tab, I notice I'm in paper space. So I'm going to double click inside the viewport for the, um, for the first reason would be to check the scale. Make sure that my scale is at 3 16 equals a foot. And it is. So I'm at the right scale. I can kind of pan the drawing to get it exactly where I want it. Okay, and then my next thing I'm going to worry about is taking care of the layers that I want to see and the layers that I don't want to see. All right, so in this instance here, um, this is going to be kind of the first floor plan framing plan. So I don't really need to see the wiring and I don't need to see the furniture. Um, so maybe let's start by viewport freezing those two. Okay. So I'm going to come up to my layer pull down here and I'm going to look for the furniture layer. Okay. Now you'll notice over here on the furniture layer there is the sun which makes a big freeze but then also next to it there is a very small sun with a rectangle near it. Okay. And that rectangle is supposed to represent a viewport. So I'm going to click on that because that will freeze the layer in the viewport only. Okay. So let's come down and do another one. I also don't want to see either of these wiring layers. So I'm going to viewport freeze wiring and viewport freeze wiring dashed. All right. Now I'm going to click away from my layer pull down. And you'll notice that those layers are now frozen. We don't see the furniture and we don't see the wiring. Okay. So now I'm going to double click outside my viewport because I'm done there. And now with um, now that I'm in paper space, I can go ahead and edit this title block. Okay, so I know most of you know how to do that. Um, you know how to edit text, and or if it's an attribute title block, you just double click on it, and you can just um, easily change the attributes. Okay, um, but what I do want you to notice is that even though the layers are frozen here, if I go back to model space notice they're not frozen in full model space okay and that's the difference between um, a freeze by freezing it with the big snowflake and what's called a viewport freeze which is what we just did okay we only froze the layers in this viewport and this is a really handy tool when you start getting into multiple sheets and multiple layout tabs Okay, so I hope that helps. I'd like you to give that a try. And in the next tutorial, we will make an additional layout tab so we have more than one sheet on this drawing.